I think a film like this has a, an appeal to an audience. They like fantasy, ghosts, the supernatural. Everybody likes to be scared a bit, provided they're not being scared for real. The characters are very real. They have very real problems. The central character is a vampire. And the basic story, as far as she's concerned, is, is one of being half human, half monster, half, one doesn't know, a soul in limbo, trying to make contact with human life. And every time she does, of course, she A, falls in love with her victim, and B, of course, knows that in the end, the victim is going to die. She's going to kill this person that she loved. I think one thing about making horror films is that um, you, can, you have to be awfully careful when you're shooting some of the stuff, because when you're doing it, you know it's not real. And uh, so you pour on more blood, or you make more terrible wounds in people, and all this sort of thing. And I think it's very easy to go overboard when you're shooting it, if you're not careful. You must always remember that the, uh, the quality of the impact on the screen is going to be that much greater when it gets there. And the audience is going to believe it, whereas you don't believe it, obviously, when you're doing it. Because you can see that it's tomato soup.